Good afternoon. Kameez me here talking, talking about an upcoming movie that should be coming out this year. Total Recall, 2012 edition, with Colin Feller playing as Quaid, or Hauser, whichever side of the memory spectrum he happens to be on that time. Of course, this is a remake of one of my favorite movies of all time, Total Recall, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, made back in... 1990. So far, what I've seen of this movie, the trailers are pretty freaking banging. Uh, the action scenes, the chases and floating cars and whatnot are pretty freaking awesome. Done a little research here uh, on the film and found out that there is no visit to Mars at all in this movie. In the original 1990 movie. He worked for, for a company that happened to mine on Mars as Hauser. And he got his mind messed with so he can get into the mutants who were uprising and the Martians who were protesting against how the treatment of the planet and whatnot. And the people, of course. And then all shit breaks down when they realize that he had already had his brain <laughs> knocked around with. You know, and it's got a really awesome from there on in. Great movie. Highly recommended. In fact, go on eBay, Amazon.com, buy it right now, watch it. But back to this. In this movie, it's about two nation states. Um, let's see, what was it again? It was New Shanghai and the, U yeah, New Shanghai and the European Union, or Euro America as it's called. Or fighting against each other. One reason I don't really know and don't really care to tell the truth. Because I'm just not all that interested in the story. I'll probably watch it for the action, but that'll be pretty much it. Now some major things from this move from the original movie that probably definitely not gonna exist at all in this new one. Definitely mutants. We already know there's no Mars. There's gonna be no Martians. Was it really necessary for the story of the first movie? Not really, because the entire first movie was really based all around the concept of Total Recall. Now, Total Recall was a business, a, luck a leisure business, where you could have memories implanted into your mind of anything you wanted. You could be a spy, a supermodel, a, a professional athlete, a race car driver. Anything you wanted could be done for you. Now, Quaid, otherwise known as Hauser, went there to get away from his Monday life as a construction worker. And he wanted to be a spy. Fighting for whatever reason. Didn't really matter. And all shit goes loose when they realize that he already had his brain recalled. And of course, it also awakened all the abilities that he had because originally he was a spy. And he had all these he had physical and mental prowess and incredible skills and abilities to do pretty much anything he wanted. And that's where the movie goes on from there. And since, you know, they already set up the whole futuristic and space flights and all that other stuff, they just they almost think Mars is just kind of part in. Now this one's more of a political movie, it seems to be. I'm a little worried about that. Because the political stuff in this movie was more about the mistreatment of people or just, you know, or even just big business being evil, which I don't necessarily agree with in the grand scheme of things, but in this movie, that's what it was. And it was an awesome freaking movie. You loved the characters, but you hated them because they were evil. It was, it was a good little mix. Now this movie, the new one, 2012, I'm a little concerned. Because it just seems kind of be like a, a hashed out plot that's been there for plenty of time. It's like born conspiracy in the future. <laughs> I may, you know, be completely off base on this, but this is what I think. Now, I'm going to go watch this movie. And for nothing else, it's going to be an awesome action flick. Oh, that brings me back to another point. I was talking about the mutants in the Martians. Very important mutant in this original movie. Watto. It's the little man that pops out of 
I know a guy's stomach and can read minds and psychic and whatnot and tells Quaid to go activate the reactor which would f melt the glacial the uh, internal ice caps inside the planet and create an oxygen atmosphere for people to live on Mars. Apparently the, the Martians that lived there before created this machine knowing that they were going to die as a benefit to humans which they saw were up coming into existence from Earth. And in this movie the what's his actual motivation of the companies? I don't know. Is it total world supremacy? Control the markets? Don't know. I'll have to wait to see. Hopefully more information will come up. It's it's not gonna be actually uh premiered till about uh I I have no clue. I don't know when it's coming out. I think it's October. But I, I can't be certain. Well, that's... Oh, no. Summer. There it is. Be out in a couple months. How about that? I'll go watch it. And when I do... August 3rd. There we go. And when I do, I will be sure to give a review for y'all. And it should be definitely more informative than this one right now. Well, that's it for all for me. Have a nice day.